What's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm gonna show you a quick video on how I think is the best way to cook venison burgers or beef burgers, uh, for that matter. Um, I had already mixed this stuff up this morning. I didn't even think to do a video on it, but uh, I'm gonna show you what uh, seasonings I used and what all I did to prep the meat before I cooked it, and we'll get to it. Okay, so what I did was I took two pounds of ground uh, venison. This is actually mule deer, um, but you can use uh, regular whitetail venison or you can use um, beef, whatever you prefer. If you don't like the venison, you can use beef. Um, but anyhow, so I took the beef and unthawed it obviously, and I cut up um, six ounces of bacon into smaller bits because um, of venison being so lean. Um, I added a little bit of bacon to put some fat into it and uh, plus it gives it some very good flavor and it tastes really good too. And then I had uh, put this uh, Dave's Famous Rib Rub. Um, I've used this rib rub in burger, regular uh, beef burgers and it tastes amazing. So I went ahead and sprinkled that over the top of it, covered it, gave it a good coat and then mixed it up and then I used season salt. Um, I went ahead and put season salt over the top of it, mixed it all up, and then I went back over it with the rib rub and uh, mixed it all up and whatnot. So, and it smells like I can eat it raw. That's how good it smells. So anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna chop up an onion and then I'm gonna chop up some, uh, we got some mushrooms here and I'll, I'll saute them in the back. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like dirty in dishes, so that's my fine china cutting board. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a little bit of olive oil in there, just like that. And I think I'm going to season it. I have this uh, Greek seasoning. Um, it's very good. I picked it up at Walmart. Um, it's a ancient Greek formula, and you can use it on about anything. Um, it's good for, um, it says steaks, chops, uh, roast, meatloaf, chicken, fish. Uh, hamburger, seafood, wild game, um, about anything that you uh, want to use it on. It's very good. If you, uh, you might want to give that a try if you never heard of it. Um, it's very good. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to cover the top of it just like that. And I'll just take my hand and stir that up just like that. That olive oil gets that. It'll get that uh, seasoning sticking to that mushrooms and onions real good on there. Okay, okay so I'm going to go ahead and cover this and just uh, turn that heat down right there on low. And we'll let that cook down real good. And um, We're going to go ahead and get our burgers uh, prepping to cook while our mushrooms and onions are cooking down. Okay, so for this part, um, I take a little piece of aluminum foil, I fold it in half, and I'll give it a light coating with the um, non-stick spray, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these deer patties, these deer burger patties, and you take a, you know, just like a, uh, just a decent size ball of meat there, and you roll it up, 
And what you're going to do is you're going to roll that until it's kind of a solid type of, like a meatball of some sort. Okay. So what I do is I start patting that out. Just like that. You can see that bacon in there. Make that, you want to make it thin because if you don't make it thin and you make it like small and bigger, thicker, um, they will shrink up a little bit and then you'll have just a real thick piece of meat with a little, you know, not a very big uh, <clears throat> burger. So you kind of got to make it bigger around just like that. And the reason I spray that is, is when I stick that down on there like that, I can get that off easier because this is kind of sticky, the meat is. So now what I got is all I did was took some string cheese and I stringed it. I pulled it apart and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and layer that right in there like that. However, it doesn't really matter. As long as you put a decent size of mozzarella cheese in there, this is what makes it just puts that extra yum in it. We're making a cheese pocket. Okay, so once you get your cheese in there, you take about the same size ball of meat just like you did the first time. You roll that up until it's kind of nice and put together and ain't no cracks and stuff. That way you can patty that meat out without it falling apart. Then you just start pressing it. Just like that. Uh, pressing that meat together. Keep it all put together. Until you got about the same size as your bottom one. Just like that. Uh, I think that's about the same size or close anyhow I think it won't have to be real perfect so then what you do is you just lay that on top of your other one and you kind of smush the sides in just like that and remember I told you you spray it so it's easier to get off there see it just pulls right off it don't stick to nothing if you put it on if you do end up putting it on a paper plate or anything like that it'll stick so what you do is you just go around the edges and you pinch those edges. You don't want that cheese coming out of there. You want that nice and sealed off. You got that cheese in there now. That's going to give it some extra goodness. Okay. I think we're about done with that. Now we'll get it in the skillet. Okay, so our mushrooms and onions are starting to cook up a little bit. We're going to give them a quick stir. We don't want them to burn or anything. It shouldn't stick to the bottom. We got a little bit of olive oil in there. And these pot, these pans that I'm using are pretty good. They're pretty good non-stick. So. But we want to stir them around. We don't want nothing burning. Uh, they're starting to cook down a little bit. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw the foil on them and start to cook in our venison burger okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to the bottom of this I'm just sprinkle it around there you want it to as i mentioned before the um the deer meat is lean uh there's really no no grease and no uh any kind of fat in it so i added the bacon believe it or not i cooked one of these this morning and uh, the bacon you would think would be more greasier than what it is um, when you cook it, but it, there's no grease in it whatsoever. So I'll put a little bit of liquid in there. I'll go ahead and get this uh, grease heated up, cover a pan, and then uh, we'll go ahead and put our burger in, start frying it up.
Okay, so we got the grease uh, in the pan pretty warm there. We have it on about medium heat. Um, we're just going to go ahead and lay our burger down in there. And uh, we'll start cooking that bad boy up. Check our mushrooms and onions here, and uh, they're looking like they're getting cooked up pretty good, close to what we want. We don't want the onions crunchy. I don't really care for raw onions myself or raw mushrooms, so uh, I think we're going to hit them with a little bit more seasoning here. And I'm telling you, the seasoning is no joke. That stuff is a, it's good stuff right there. <clears throat> and uh, I'm give them a quick stir around. They're about done. It's been cooking for about three minutes. I usually cook it about three minutes on each side. You don't want to overcook it because um, that's when it gets real dry. Okay, I think it's about done. We're going to go ahead and get it off the heat here. Plate it up here, stick it on a bun like that. Now, this one kind of came apart on me a little bit. I don't know if you can see how it kind of you can see the two patties. Uh, I'm not quite sure. As the very first one that I ever had come apart on me like that, but uh, still going to be the same, still going to taste the same, no, nothing different about it. Um, so, go ahead and get our mushrooms and onions on this and uh, show you what the finished product looks like. and onions right on the top there. The more the sloppier the better this thing's gonna be. Just like that. A little much but how we um more the better. Okay and so I'm gonna go ahead and I do like ketchup and mustard on my burgers, but I'm I really like A1 sauce also. You could eat that thing just like that, or you could add whatever you want to it. And I make it a little extra sloppy. That's all. It tastes great. And that's the burger right there. That is a venison stuffed with mozzarella cheese with mushrooms and onions and I'm telling you what it's going to be sloppy you can see that cheese oozing out of there and my mouth's watering just thinking about eating this thing I do apologize for having to eat this in front of you guys but I gotta see what it tastes like and I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste good I'm gonna have to use both hands to eat this monster Oh man, that's good. Mm. Nothing like a deer meat sandwich. It beats beef all day long. Look at that. Mozzarella cheese just pouring out of there. I do want to tell you guys thanks for watching my videos and don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs down, thumbs down or a comment if you'd like. I appreciate it. Till next time.